Hi, this question is asking us to evaluate the average rate of change over the interval zero to 28, where T is representing the number of years since 1980. Uh, and the output of our function is representing the fuel economy, average fuel economy of cars. So since T is representing years since 1980, that means that 1995 is represented by 15 and 2003 is represented by 23. So in order to find these spots on the curved graph, I used uh, 15 as the input to the function, having 15 replace both of the t's in the function and then generating the function output of 21.04 approximately. Uh, then also having 23 uh, replace t in both places in the function, generating an output of 22.33 approximately. So we have these two exact spots on our curved graph. Since our graph is of a quadratic function, which is curved, we um, don't really have a constant rate of change. The rate of change on the red graph is variable. We'd like a constant rate of change, which we can get if we draw a straight line through the two points. So the average rate of change between this point and this point on the red graph is simply the slope of the green line. Okay, we can find the slope of the green line with our old standby, the rise over the run. In order to find the rise, we would find the difference between our two outputs. So that's going to give us this distance, the difference between 22.33 and 21.04. And that is going to be what we put on the top of our fraction. It's not going to be zero. That's just a, a symbol. And our run or this distance, we can find by getting the difference between our two inputs, 23 and 15. And that will go on the bottom of our fraction. And when we simplify that fraction as best we can, uh, we're going to get something that's near one sixth. Or if you like decimal numbers, it's around 0.16. Um, either way, it's uh, what we would say is that the average rate of change in the fuel economy between 1995 and 2003. Um, would be about one-sixth or 0.16 of a mile per gallon. Now you can see that the red graph is curved, and so the rate of change every year is not always going to be that number that we found. Uh, sometimes it's going to be more, and sometimes it's going to be less, because parts of that graph are steeper and some parts flatter between our two points, which we drew a straight line through. But we're looking for the average rate of change, and that's why we drew the straight line. There you go. Thanks for watching.